we're going old school by using a Briggs & Stratton 5 horsepower engine. In the last video, we wanted to build one, and we found out that this one was already built, and it runs pretty well. Unfortunately, it smokes like a freight train, so today we are going to try to fix that problem with some brand new piston rings. So there are a few things that could cause excessive smoking, like this engine's doing. Could be worn out valve guides, uh, it could be a clogged crankcase ventilation system, or it could be piston rings. The way the engine is acting, we think it's most likely piston rings, but while the engine's apart, we're going to take a look and see if anything else could be causing the smoking. Now we just changed the oil in it, and we ran it for, what do you think? Probably 15 minutes in total. 15 minutes max. So, if the oil still looks good, we are going to reuse it. Oh. Yeah. That looks kind of bad, doesn't it? We're not going to reuse this. No. Why does it look this bad already? Yeah, it looks like it's way overdue for an oil change and it's like almost brand new oil. There's one. How's the gasket look? I don't see any... Breakthrough. Yeah. Gasket looks like it has sealed up real nice. Yeah, but you can see that oil. That there. is that a is lot a of oil puddle. in there. That is a puddle. It's a pond. Yeah, it sure is. Oh man, look at that! Look at that valve rock. Whenever I, uh, you see it moving sideways before coming up. That thing is rocking sideways before going up. We can always try putting some rings in it, and. Uh, check the crankcase ventilation. I don't think we have excessive slop on this piston. So with the head still off, we're going to spin the engine over with a drill to see where the majority of the oil is coming from. Uh, it's definitely coming from the valves, but it's probably also coming from the, uh, the oil ring on the piston. This test is mainly to see if we're getting uh, a lot of oil from the rings. Okay. Which we might be able to tell or might not. Yeah, yeah. So it's worth a try. Yeah, I see oil already. Yeah, it's creeping up. Come on, dude, it's clean. Whoo, that. that's, that's fresh oil. Wow. All right. Um. So the ring is definitely a problem. Well, the rings are definitely a problem, but it might just be uh, multiple problems on top of it. So if your vent valve is clogged up, it's going to cause excess pressure in the crankcase, and that pressure is going to want to come out somewhere, so it's going to find a place. The valves, rings, or, or gaskets, or even seals. So you got to check that vent valve. It's just kind of flopping around. I don't know if it's doing any good. Oh! And it's got dual spring. Oh, nice, dude. We didn't even look thing. at the valve train, no, did we? No, we didn't. Well, let's uh, start with the rings, bud. Yeah. Man, it picked up a lot of garbage. Where did this stuff come from? I mean, everything feels good. <clears throat> Look at this. We just had some junk down in here. It's a racing piston. And our uh, rings won't work. Are you serious? I'm serious. Here's a factory piston. And what we have here is a racing piston. This piston right here has two compression rings and then the oil ring. Whereas this one right here has one compression ring and then the oiling ring. And we also have a different style skirt. It's got a longer rod. Oh, does it? Look at the pin. Oh. We can't really do anything. However, the inside of the uh, cylinder wall has a lot of uh, rust and pitting. We can try honing it out and putting it back together. And just roll with it. And roll with it. So I get that one less piston ring and the location of the wrist pin is different in this racing piston, but for you master engine builders out there, what are some other differences or what makes a racing piston a racing piston? It's something I'm personally interested in. Just why, why is this gonna perform better 
than this other than what's obvious right here. Let me know in the comments. And if you're enjoying the video so far, leave us a thumbs up. All right, dude, I'm uh, dipping these stones and as I'm honing it, I'm gonna be pouring some brake fluid in here as I'm honing. All right. much of a mess am I making? I'm so glad I'm wearing a black Cars and Cameras shirt. That's right. A mini mayhem shirt. Mini mayhem. And you can get yours Cars-cameras.com, folks. Right. Support the channel. How do we do, buddy? Well, I'm going to call this one it, whether it's good or not. You kind of have to. Yeah. I've lubricated up the piston. Putting her back together. So we know this thing smokes. It'll be fine. I No, it won't. It really won't be fine this time. This time it won't be fine, but I hate, I would hate to do all this work and not see how it performs. So I want to put this thing on the wagon and see if it'll outperform that stock Briggs. And then when we have time, we can do our research and gather parts and do a full on performance rebuild on this Briggs and Stratton engine. We do believe that this carburetor was tuned for methanol or, or some sort of al other alternative fuel. Could have been alcohol, don't know. But we wound up changing the jet in it and we made it run better. Yes, on gasoline. On regular gasoline, high test. Yes, sir. Sunoco. Yes, sir. Uh, time for a test fire? Yes, sir. Let's take it outside. Right. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Sorry. We have fuel in it? Yeah. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this now. Really? I mean, it sounds good. It idles. It's just really smoky. <laughs> so we just found out that these two engines have two separate engine side cover designs. So the old clutch that we were using isn't going to work really well. Uh, so we're going to be using a brand new 12 tooth clutch with holes for set screws from gopowersports.com. Uh, it's a great entry level clutch option. If you're just getting into go-karting or mini biking, it's a great inexpensive option before you go with something like a, a torque converter. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. And of course, don't forget to use our discount code CC10 for 10% off most parts at gopowersports.com to get an even better deal on parts and to help support us as well. So we just spent the last little while figuring out a new throttle cable situation. We're using a throttle cable from gopowersports.com because we had one from like the supermarket and we it was too chunky. This one's nice and smooth. Uh, we're ready for a test fire. On your mark, get set, go! Not bad. You all right? I got stuff all in my eye. Like oil? Like dirt and stuff. So Ike just ran a 3570. We just looked it up and before with the stock engine, he ran a 3763. So that's like almost two full seconds faster with his engine. And on a small course like this, that's a really big difference. Two seconds is a lot. Yeah, that's
be a lot of smoke over there. Oh, he's still on it. It looks like it died. Did he blow the thing up, dude? pretty quick it looked pretty quick was it not quick it was 35 83 was it really no it was 33 63 that's actually like like that's not even that's that's pretty fast that's very competitive for our grand prix now it, it really is faster than i want to go yeah congratulations bud thank you that was really scary the yeah. thing is like in order to drive this thing fast you just have to be so hunched yeah. It's just not enjoyable at all. No, no. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Yeah. I think it, we can get away with the smoking because it, it's a rat rod. It matches it. It definitely performs. Yeah. It, it, uh, it, it, it did about what I expected. And just to clarify, like for, you know, for, for those of you people out there who are wondering, you know, you're looking for your first engine or even your second engine, I wouldn't go for a Briggs based on our experience here. Dude, all right, look, you can buy an old worn out Briggs and Stratton engine that you have no idea the history of, you'll never be able to find parts for, and the ones you can find are gonna be really expensive, or you can go to the store and pick up a brand new engine for 100 bucks or a nice Tillotson engine, which is a performer, for like 180 bucks, and then like there's a ton of aftermarket, it's gonna perform better, it's gonna be more reliable. You just don't have to deal with old stuff. That's my two cents. If you're looking for a challenge, yeah, go Briggs, I guess, but. I mean, I like it, but like... Doesn't sound like it. Look at all these oil leaks, dude. I'm looking at like seven oil leaks right now. I like it. Yeah, no, I like it too. In, I'm in just fact, saying. you got a problem with old school? Oh, dude. I bet you this thing will outperform the NASCAR with a 20 horsepower Predator on it. You think so? I know so. Yeah, you're probably right. But we're gonna find out. I like them. I'm just saying for someone who may not be experienced or looking for a first or second project, it may not be the best option because there's so much you can buy brand new for cheap. He is true about it. it, it that, that part he is right about. But I still have a soft spot, soft spot in my heart for old five horse brakes. We also installed a 12 tooth clutch and an air filter and pre-filter from gopowersports.com. And of course, we have other parts from Go Power Sports like the chain guard, the wheels, the tires, the live axle kit, the brakes. You can find links to all those in the description of this video and use our discount code CC10 for 10% off most products on GoPowerSports.com. Leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video today, guys. If you want to see another rat rod build, if you want more Briggs builds, let us know in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel for more awesome mini mayhem content help support us and what we do pick up some of our hoodies stickers or t-shirts or hats at cars-cameras.com they make great gifts by the way 
Uh, thanks for watching. Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. We'll see you next time.